So good morning and welcome this morning to worship here at God's house for November 12th of 2023. Um, our video format will include communion, so if you're joining us by video uh, and, and virtual worship, please make sure you get your communion elements to have them ready for when we do consecration and share in the Lord's Supper together. Now for our call to worship. Good morning. Good morning. Our call to worship this morning will come from Psalm 78, 1 and 7. Give ear, O my people, to my teachings. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old, things that we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us. I will not hide them from their children. I will tell them to the coming generation, the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. He have established a decree in Jacob and appointed the law of Israel, which he had commanded our ancestors to teach to their children, that the next generation might have known them and the children yet unborn, and rise up and tell to their children so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God and to keep his commandments. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn is Seek Ye First the Kingdom of God. spirit. We ask that you sanctify our worship and praises to you. You have called us to joy, celebration, and thanksgivings. Speak to us today with words of life and healing, and empower us for the work you have given us to do in this time. For this day of renewed life, we do give you thanks for its evidence of your forgiveness to all who turn in faith to you in confession and repentance. And so now in these moments, we take a moment to confess our own sins in doing what, not doing what is loving and in doing what has caused harm to others. Let us pray in silence. Have mercy on us. 
Loving God, we pray that you tend and comfort all who grieve and those who suffer injustices and the prejudices that divide us from one another. Living Jesus, we ask that you show your way of love in all our relationships, especially now as we pray for one another in joys and celebrations, in sickness, grief, hardships, and suffering, and all the uncertainties of this life. in this world of violence and hate, divisions and exploitation, so that we may bring your peace and reconciliation to all people. Give us hearts of generosity toward one another to believe that change is possible, beginning with us. <clears throat> Give us a vision of hope and hearts full of courage to follow Jesus faithfully and be transformed ourselves. Come, Holy Spirit, upon us and raise up new leaders who walk in your ways of truth and righteousness. We pray this, especially in these days of change and need for change, here in our own time. O oh God of justice with mercy, help us to be a part of this change. And so Lord of heaven and host of heaven and earth, we pray for the coming of your realm of peace to all creation. Make us instruments of your peace. Send us as your servants to hear and be this peace in our times and places until you come again. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The reading of the Hebrew text this morning comes from Joshua chapter 24, verses 1 through 3a, and 14 through 25. Then Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Long ago your ancestors, Terah and his sons, Abraham and Naor, lived beyond the Euphrates and served other gods. Then I took your father Abraham from beyond the river and led him through all the land of Canaan and made his offspring many. Now, therefore, revere the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. Now, if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, Choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your ancestors served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites, whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Then the people answered, <laughs> far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For it is the Lord our God who brought us and our ancestors up from the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery and who did those great signs in our sight. He protected us along the way that we went and among all the peoples through whom we passed. And the Lord drove out before us all the peoples, the Amorites who lived in the land. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. But Joshua said to the people, You cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions or your sins. Mm. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm and consume you after having done you good. And the people said to Joshua, no, we will serve the Lord. Then Joshua said to the people, you are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord mm. to serve him. And they said, we are witnesses. He said, then put away the foreign gods that are among you. And incline your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. The people said to Joshua, the Lord our God we will serve and him we will obey. Hmm. 
So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day and made statutes and ordinances for them at Shechem. Good morning. Good morning. Our official reading today comes from 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do or have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven. Mm -hmm and the dead in Christ will rise first. Mm -hmm. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them mm -hmm. to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. <clears throat> As for today's be a blessing, mm -hmm. I didn't want to sound petty, so I had to change it. Be a blessing and accept the reward. After reading this, this is the true reward. This is better than a paycheck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's better than a brand new yacht. It's better than somebody being a movie star. This is something we have bought into. Mm -hmm. We have each and every person have suffered. Mm -hmm. And I feel each and every person deserves this. Now, what I feel and what God does are two different things. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad God is God and Tim is Tim. <laughs> Correct. I am so glad. Amen. Some people can't get that. Okay. <laughs> but to know that it will be worth it to know that all the chaos that we go through, all the people you've lost, mm -hmm. all the hatred that's going on. We've just seen a, a horrible war mm -hmm. go back and forth. Um, I should say wars. To see all the chaos that's gone around, the, the, the famine, the pestilence, all the crime, mm -hmm. to know that in the end, all of that will end. Mm -hmm. We will have God, we'll have love, mm -hmm. we'll have our aunts and uncles and grandparents all around us mm -hmm. to know that one day when you die, if you die in Christ, one day your eyes will be open mm -hmm. and you will see your grandchildren and great grandchildren and cousins. And if you don't have children, you'll see people that you have loved and admired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. It is worth it. And there are some people I know who can't accept the reward. There are some people who feel, I don't deserve this. Mm -hmm. And my word to them is, be a blessing to others and let them know it's worth it. Be a blessing amongst yourself mm -hmm. and accept this word mm -hmm. that God has given you. Mm -hmm. It was all done for you. Amen. It was all done so you could have peace, love, and happiness and be reunited with the people who truly love you. They are not gone. Mm. They're just waiting on the Lord mm. as you should. Mm. Amen. So our hymn is Rejoice, Rejoice Believers. We're going to use an alternate tune that's a little bit more familiar. It's the church's one foundation.
verses 1 through 13. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten young women took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. Five of them were foolish mm -hmm. and five were wise. Mm -hmm. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. Mm -hmm. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. Mm -hmm. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout. Look, here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all those young women got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, there will not be enough for you and for us. You'd better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. Uh -huh. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the other women came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I do not know you. Mm -hmm. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Come on now. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. God of love, you indeed have given us life. And you have called us to live it fully. Yes, Lord. We ask now as we hear your word that you would feed our hearts, that your spirit would strengthen us, that your love would fill us too. And now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh God, our strength and our Savior. Amen. Amen. Carpe diem. Mm -hmm. You may have heard the Latin phrase before. It means literally seize the day. Mm -hmm. It's usually used in reference to seizing opportunities for personal gain in business or sports or power. Jesus isn't speaking about that kind of opportunism. Nor is Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians as he tries to encourage believers in their faith. There's something else going on when he says watch. 
because our eyes are on the prize of the calling of God to be a holy people. The story in Joshua, at the end of the conquest of Canaan, he calls the people together. He knows that he will be moving on in life and death. Come on now. And he had learned the hard way from being Moses' helper, the challenges of being faithful. Problem with the secular use of this phrase seize the day is that it assumes that we have it in our own hands. <laughs> Somehow in our control. <laughs> that is, that the day of opportunity is something that we can take for <laughs> ourselves. We understand quite quickly that that is very different from the way Jesus is talking about it. And it's a lot less easy to pin it down to either this present day, today, or to our possession of it. I'm not sure if this is exactly how the Thessalonians got confused, but it's clear that they seem to think that they had life in hand, mm. that they would live to see the day of the Lord's return. <laughs> so when some of their members died, they were distressed. Mm. Ever hear those moments when the old theology doesn't work anymore? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The confidence in life gets shaken. You have a moment of crisis of faith, but that's an opportune moment to grow in faith. <laughs> See, the Thessalonians were not only grieving their relational losses, but they were feeling doubts and fears about themselves and their mm -hmm. own faith. Mm -hmm. Their expectations weren't being met. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about how disappointments somehow seem to be always connected to some sort of unrealistic <laughs> expectation. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Jesus knew himself that long waiting is hard to do. Yes, I mm -hmm. Joshua knew that keeping the faith for a lifetime is hard enough, but for generations, passing it on to the future generations mm -hmm. is a challenge. Mm -hmm. We all must grow in our faith. Mm -hmm. At the moment that Joshua was, was making this speech to the people, they were moving out of their former lifestyles as herds people or as brick makers mm -hmm. into an agrarian lifestyle where they would be dependent on the seasons, the rain, and the longer days of light for growing. Mm -hmm. Depending on getting up and doing what needed to be done to get rid of the stones in the field, to sharpen the sides, to keep the harnesses for their animals repaired, plowing and reaping building threshing floors and storage barns. This was not going to be easy like it was out of the wilderness where you get up in the morning and you gathered up the manna. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It wasn't going to be easy picking every day. Yes, mm -hmm. It's a new step in dependence on God's grace and abundance. Mm -hmm. and they would have to do their part in it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to growing up and becoming an adult. <laughs> <laughs> no longer living as children. Uh -huh depending on others for our care. Amen. Mm -hmm. But how do we learn this? How do herds people and, 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 and brick makers learn to farm? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part of the story. That's the backstory. That's what Joshua is concerned about. You see, the practices of the Canaanites would be their model. Mm -hmm. The farming techniques and skills and know-how were one thing, but the religion they used as a part of that would be another. Mm -hmm. Come on now. And we face similar challenges in learning to be faithful to God today while living in cultures that worship other gods. Mm -hmm. Seize the day in our day is a way of exploiting and justifying taking advantage of others for personal gain and pleasure. Come on now. As believers, we still have to learn, earn our wages for our own needs so that we're not dependent on others. Yeah. But our faith has different values about our relationships. Yes, Lord. The greatest commandment and the second like it is still reverberating in our ears from just the previous chapter in Matthew. Love the Lord your God and others as yourselves. Mm -hmm. We're called to live with our eyes on God's ways and God's grace. Mm -hmm. Not our selfish desires at the expense of others. Mm -hmm. We may learn some skills, techniques, and know-how for doing the work that we have in this life that are part of this corrupted system and mm. culture in which we live and its idolatrous gods of greed mm -hmm. and 
pleasure and power. Mm -hmm. But our calling is different. Mm -hmm. It's to serve a risen Jesus mm -hmm. who's coming again. We are to be mindful of his lordship over creation and his love for all people, mm -hmm. not just us. Mm -hmm. And his par parables remind us of the wisdom of seizing the day, mm -hmm. of watching and waiting and taking and making the most of each day we're given to live faithfully in God's love with love for one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. But this parable is, 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 is tricky in some ways and troublesome. I remind you that it's a mer metaphor. Should not those who had oil have shared with those who had none? Mm -hmm. Isn't that the loving thing to do? Mm -hmm. Less to take the parable literally and ferreting out the truths that Jesus is trying to teach us can be tricky. Come on now. He's speaking to us as individuals. Mm -hmm. Be alert. Be responsible. Take what you need. Mm -hmm. But when you're leaving on a journey, take what you can carry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can't carry everybody else's baggage, oh, too. Come on, <laughs> faith is like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our faith is only sufficient for ourselves. Mm -hmm. As children, we may live by the faith of our parents or others who have nurtured us, mm -hmm. but the day will come when we have to have our own yes. as adults. Yes. The faith of others will not be enough for us in the dark nights that we will face mm -hmm. as adults, mm -hmm. in the difficult times in our own lives. Yes, Wisdom is to have our own wells to drink from mm -hmm. spiritually. The Thessalonians had been living by the faith of others that Jesus would return soon in their lifetime. And when that wasn't working out, they had to deal with the fact that they had to find their own faith now. Mm -hmm. Come on now. The night had grown long and Jesus still did not come. And their faith had begun to falter and flicker like those lamps mm -hmm. of the bridesmaids mm -hmm. in the late night. Mm -hmm. What Paul encourages them to do is to dig deeper into trusting in God's love and the Spirit's presence with them. Mm -hmm. To refill their spiritual oil and keep watching faithfully. Mm -hmm. This is our challenge today. Like Joshua pointedly confronting the people about the difficulties of faithfulness to God when, this, when the times get hard. Right. The seasons will change. Mm -hmm. right. Fears will arise. Mm -hmm. right. Doubts will tempt us. Oh, yeah. But Jesus is coming again. Mm -hmm. Come on, Pastor. It's just that God's timing is not our own. Come Correct. On. <laughs> we are nearing the season of Advent when we delve more deeply into what we need to faithfully hold on and watch for the dawn of the coming light. <clears throat> And we can get distracted by our work and the demands of life. We can be tempted to take shortcuts or try idolatrous practices. Mm -hmm. We can even come on Sundays and sing our praises to God and forget to love one another every day of the week. Come on, oh, yeah. Yeah. You see, that's the danger of just praise worship. Mm -hmm. It does not like the content of real faith living in a real life. Mm -hmm. Come on, Pastor. The oil of faith is more like the fossil fuels. I don't know if, how, if you know how they are formed, but it's the heat and pressure of time and circumstances <laughs> that make them what they are. Uh -huh. yes. Even when we feel stressed by our waiting, the Spirit is at work in us, on, giving us what we need to keep watch faithfully. Yes. Giving us the oil that we need. But it won't be easy. Uh -huh. And we won't have enough to help others. Oh, no. The best thing we can do is what Paul is doing. Love one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Encourage one another. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Walk with each other as long as we can and are given in life. Mm -hmm. But the time will come when Jesus does return and each of us will have to live by our own faith. That's all right. Jesus. And that was the problem with those that had to go buy or find it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you come on they just me. didn't have it. Come on they just now. didn't have it. That, and that's how it makes <laughs> sense. All Jesus says, I didn't know you. Jesus. Hmm. You didn't have it to start with. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus. The best we can do now is confess and live our faith mm -hmm. and keep such faith alive and all, with an eye toward God's love. Mm -hmm. Yes. His treasures are in God's realm, mm -hmm. not this world's power. Oh, right? Pastor. We are not seizing the best of this life. We mm -hmm. are reaching for God's life. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Each of us who believe must seize each day and watch it not for our own gains, right. but for the hope of life forever in mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He is coming again. Yes, we just don't know when. Yes, Correct. Lord. The God of grace and mercy gives us what we need for today until our today becomes eternal mm -hmm. when he returns. So my brothers and sisters and nibblings in faith, do not be shaken by the signs of the times, mm -hmm. the earthquakes and fires, the volcanoes. You know, there's a whole bunch of them going off Come right now. Right. The floods, the wars, the political turmoil around us. Don't let those disturb your faith. Come mm -hmm. on, Pastor, speak a word. And do not grieve as those who have no hope mm -hmm. when death comes knocking on your door Jesus in your Lord. life or family. Jesus. God is faithful. Yes, yes he, he is. is. Just take along your own oil of faith for this long night mm -hmm. and give thanks to God for God's grace and love for you that is enough. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Our hymn of response is, I greet thee through my sure redeemer art. instructs us to share together in it in unity of the spirit with love for one another as he has loved us. So let us join together in the prayer that he taught us to say, our loving parent who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This table is a living witness, proclaiming the accomplishment of God's promised salvation in Jesus Christ. As you have turned and confessed your sins, God has forgiven you, and God is with you. And also, also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift our hearts to God. God. Let us give thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Let us pray. Yes, O oh God, you have created all that is with your word, and your love calls all creation to unite to bring forth life and glorify you. We look to the word that became flesh for our redemption and reconciliation through your grace. This love is for all who turn to you in faith and hope. We give thanks for your love that comes to us to give us healing and new life in Jesus. And we listen for your spirit to speak, to guide, to help and to strengthen us in our faith until all of your purposes are fulfilled and established forever in glory. We join the hosts of heaven and all creation in praising and glorifying you as the creator, redeemer, and sustainer of all life, saying together, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna in the highest. So as, as Jesus gathered with his disciples on the night when he, before he would be betrayed and arrested and then crucified, they shared a meal together, and during that meal, he took the bread. And giving thanks for it, he said, Take, this is my body, which is given for you. Eat of it, all of you, and remember me. At the end of the meal, he took the cup and he refilled it again. He blessed it. And he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you eat this, drink this, and eat this bread, remember me. Let us pray. God of hosts, creator of the universe, you have given us the grain of the field and the fruit of the vine to sustain our bodies. Jesus took these common elements and set them apart for this sacred and holy sacrament to sustain our spirits in community. Bless them now as holy mm -hmm. and set them apart for this sacred use as each of us understands your grace and love for us. Amen. Amen. Let us say now the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. The gifts of God for the people of God come and share the feast. Take and eat. This is the body of Christ given for you. Take and drink. This is the love of Jesus poured out for you. Come and share together in the unity of the spirit of this table, this table of God's love, which is set for us and for all people in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God of power and grace, we do give you thanks for life and your power to heal and sustain our lives today. We give you thanks for the love you show us in Jesus and for your presence with us always in the spirit and its reconciling work of uniting us in love. We give you thanks for this table and the community that it nurtures, enriched by our diversities. We give you thanks to this witness to the resurrection and its power to turn us toward you in trust that no matter what may happen in life, we are forever safe in your care. Amen. Amen. Amen.
So live as children of the light and walk together in unity as God's beloved mm -hmm. in the love of Jesus. The Spirit of God has been poured out upon you. It will strengthen and guide you, keep you until Christ comes again in mm -hmm. glory. God is with you. And also with you. <laughs> Thank you.